John had been living during a pandemic and with so much time at home, he gained a few extra pounds and was not feeling good about himself. So John decided that he would start exercising for one hour every day. He was really excited to finally start working out and he was committed to not miss a single day. On the first day, he worked out as promised. He was really tired at the end, but happy that he made it. On the second day, John was not so motivated to work out, but he remembered his goal and with great suffering, he did it. On the third day, however, John had less time to work out, so he decided to skip the day to rest and come back full of strength on the next day. Unfortunately, the next day was an exhausting day at work. He was so tired that he couldn't even think of exercising. He just wanted to watch Netflix. A few days passed and John gave up. It was not working out as he expected. Most days he didn't have time or motivation to do it. There are many Johns out there who want to start a daily habit, like exercising, reading or meditating. But all of them do the same mistake. They get excited and set high goals towards themselves. John wanted to be able to work out one hour every day because many of his friends do. But John was not used to work out and his friends are doing it for years now. A few weeks later, John found out a YouTube video talking about the tiny habit technique. The tiny habit technique was really simple. It said that he should shrink his new habit to a size that he was able to do every day no matter what. Doesn't matter if he is not motivated to do it. It is so simple and easy that he can do it. It doesn't matter that he doesn't have time. It is so short that he can do it. The tiny habit technique is like planting a tree. When you plant it, it is really small, the size of a seed. But if you water it every day, it will grow. So John decided to give it another try. But this time he was committed to do only 20 push-ups every day. On the first day, John didn't have much time. But he did the 20 push-ups as promised. It didn't feel like a workout but he was excited to do something. On the second day, he did 100 push-ups. Not a long workout, but much better than doing nothing. On the third day, he had a tough day at work and came home exhausted. However, before taking a shower, he did his tiny workout of 20 push-ups. He felt so great by not skipping the day that he also did 20 squats as extra credits. A few weeks later, John was doing 30 minutes workouts for several days a week. He was feeling much more in shape and was increasing his trainings slowly every week. Some days he did not have time or was feeling tired, but he did his tiny workouts anyway, never skipping a day again. John was so fascinated by the tiny habit technique that he tried to apply it to other areas of his life. He always wanted to floss his teeth, so he decided that he would floss one tooth after brushing his teeth. Flossing a tooth was easy, but he soon discovered that once he flossed one tooth, he would easily floss more of them. The tiny habit technique will support you to not only keep the streak alive, but also by doing a tiny habit it will be more likely that you will continue your habit. I hope you enjoyed the video.